everybody Ann here just sitting here in the tiny house having coffee iced coffee with all of you and today's video is going to be about how to make a YouTube channel and how to make YouTube videos now I'm not an expert but I've been making a whole bunch of videos and in fact I started making videos back when they first started letting just the average person put up a, a video on YouTube and it was so long ago oh my gosh it was probably whew, 20 years ago maybe I don't know I can't remember but it was of me and my dad water skiing and I really really wish I could find that I can't find it anywhere um, but most of the videos that I've made have just been for my own personal entertainment and enjoyment and that's basically what this channel is it's just me making videos about things that I love and so well let's just get started I got a list all right First thing, let's talk about intros and outros. Now, there's one thing that I don't like to see when I watch videos on YouTube, and that is a gratuitously long intro or outro. Uh, I think mine's, my intro is like five seconds, maybe six. I think if you go over 10 seconds in an intro, I will skip past that. I mean, I will just skip past your intro because it's too long. Um, you have to, you know, kind of keep in mind that people are using data you know a lot of the people are watching on their phones so you know you don't want to make them sit through an intro that's too long just a few seconds is enough you know and you don't even have to have them so the next thing is how to film the actual videos now you don't want to film in portrait so when you have your camera or your phone this is portrait don't hold your camera or your phone up and down turn it this way always turn it this way this is landscape and that's how the eye wants to see things they we you know that's why we've got an eye here and an eye here and not up here and down here always film in landscape you don't want to have just a a little skinny bar of film and then the sides are blank or whatever you want to fill the screen with your video so when you film hold it like this next make videos about things you love or have a lot of expertise in because you're going to enjoy making the videos more don't try and copy other people or try and do what someone else is doing do just do you basically because you know there are videos out there that are making lots of money of of i remember uh when my my granddaughter my oldest granddaughter would come over and spend the night she would watch these videos of this lady who all she did is she went and got these little squishy toys that have like jelly inside of them and whatnot um, and she would cut them open and all that you saw is a shot of her hands opening up and squishing the goo out of these toys hundreds of thousands of views to these videos so you never know what people are gonna like just do what you love and you know what if you love it other people are gonna love it too find a good video editing software program I recommend free ones um, I use UCut. it's for Android I've talked about it before uh, I'll try and leave some links down in the description box below uh, where to find it and there's also Kden live that's K D E N L I V E now I first got introduced to that because on my laptop I do a boot Linux and um, Windows and I found it in the in the Linux you know software uh, repository I guess that's what they call it and it's free and it's very powerful and I love it I think they've got it for PC now too so I'll try and leave links to those so I mean I haven't used it in a long time because I just do everything on my phone but UCut and Caden Live, those are both really, really awesome programs and they're free. And neither one of them leaves a watermark on your videos. So that's, that's a bonus too. The next thing I want to talk about is the use of filters and transitions. Transitions are where you're moving one clip to another clip. And so there's software that allows you to do sometimes cool transitions like out and fade in or a sliding or something like that. But be careful how much you use them and you don't need to use them in between each clip. Um, have you ever seen the one that at the end of one clip before another, there's a page turn and then another page turn and another page turn. That takes time. The transition actually takes a little bit of time. And to me, whoo, 
it's going to rain. To me, that seems like a wasted use of time. Um, so watch those. And the filters, like putting different colors on your screen or like little hearts or, you know, things floating around in the air. Um, I would watch those because, you know, you don't have to have a super ultra mega professional looking video to make a good video. But if you use too many transitions and filters, it's just going to seem, I don't know, maybe kind of cheesy a little bit. So yeah, watch those. Now I want to talk about honing your editing skills. Learn to trim, cut, and split videos. Uh, trimming is just basically you're taking something off of the beginning and then you're taking it off of the end. For instance, uh, you've got your tripod set up, you press record, then you walk over to get in front of the camera. You're going to want to cut that part out. You don't want to put your viewers through you walking to the camera and getting things set up. Cut the preparatory stuff out and, you know, at the end, cut, you know, trim that out too so that you don't waste your viewer's time watching something that um, is basically inconsequential to the video as a whole. So, um, and if you go to my DIY playlist, there's a couple videos there on how to use U-Cut and that shows you kind of the cutting and splitting and um, trimming process too. So go check those out. I'll leave a link in the description box. All right, volume. Now, lots of people have told me that I don't talk loud enough, so I've tried to kind of start talking louder just a little bit. I don't like to shout, um, but and, and I don't use a mic, but always be mindful of the volume of what you speak and make sure it's not too loud or not too quiet because people won't be able to hear you. And then music. The use of music. I use a little bit of music now and then. If you're going to use music, make sure you turn that music way down so it is just barely there in, in the background because you don't want it to overpower what you're saying or, or whatever. Um, so make sure you turn that music volume down and um, you have to think about your audience. My audience is basically, for the most part, kind of people from 40s to and older. So if I were to pick some big heavy metal music, which I love, I love heavy metal. I am a metal head through and through. But a lot of people just aren't gonna enjoy that. They're gonna be repelled by it. So you have to kind of think about that too. All right, let's see. This next one is a big one. And I will just use some examples for myself. And that is avoiding verbal takes and I, that's the only thing that I can call them. Um, a verbal take is something that well you say over and over and over. Um, kind of like my oh my goodness or so cool or very very cool or awesome sauce. I swear please don't say awesome sauce. It's not cool. It's not it's just, oh, please don't say awesome sauce. That's a terrible, terrible phrase. I hate it. Oh, and okay, okay. Um, if you start each clip with okay, um, like I do all the time, I mean, I'm pretty sure that gets annoying. I go back to and watch some of my old videos, and my verbal tics are awful. So I'm trying to curb that a little bit. All right, and then you want to, well, you want to avoid saying all right. <laughs> like I always do. All right, all right, all right. And avoid long ums or uh, uh, uh and uh. <laughs> Try and see what I just did. Well, a lot of times I will do it when I'm trying to think about what I'm going to say next. But if you have to think too much about what you're going to say next, Cut those uhs and ands out and just so they won't know that you're even trying to think about what you're saying. They're just going to think, oh, she's quick. She she knows how to, you know, do a video. Oh, and I also say this is this is one of the ones that I really, really dislike that I say. And that is, you know what? You know what? You know what? You can just do this. You know what? I think. <sighs> Annoying. I also do not like, but do it all the time, the use of the word guys. Like, hey guys, hey guys, you know, uh, I'm sure that gets annoying. But, you, you know, you got to do you, just decide what you want to do. All right, this next one, 
I know y'all know in my videos I have trouble with movement and motion. Make sure you're holding your camera very steady and don't pan too quickly because if you do it will actually make the viewer dizzy. And try not to shake. Uh, this tripod that I'm using really really has helped but if you're gonna pan a scene try not to pan too quickly. That's a learning process and I'm still learning it myself so don't try and move your camera around too fast because people will get sick and they won't want to watch your videos. Alright and frame your face. You don't want you don't want to be f filming like this all the time really. Oh my god you can see the pores on my nose. Try and film it so that at least you have your shoulders in. I mean if you're gonna just do the neck up sort of a thing or if you're way back and you're just gonna you know film like from your neck up like this that doesn't look good does it so try and frame your body if you're gonna be speaking to at least your shoulders and up okay what's next all right thumbnails I'm not good at making thumbnails I don't even think you really need thumbnails but if you are gonna use thumbnails be mindful that the area off in the lower right hand side of the screen is going to be taken up by the time span the is going to be taken up the area in the lower right hand side of the screen is going to be taken up by a time stamp so if you have any wording or anything important in that area it's not going to be seen when you first load the video uh, when you when you're looking at the the thumbnail on YouTube uh, that's going to cover it up. So try and get things away from that corner and you'll be great. Um, and change your thumbnails up. One thing that I don't like and um, you know I've gone to many channels I follow and watch a lot of different people but if your thumbnails all look the same then when I go back to your channel and try and find a particular video I was interested in it's going to be really hard for me to find that if all of your you know, colors, all of your fonts, all of the positioning of the lettering, um, all look the same. And if you have basically your face only um, every single time in every single thumbnail. So switch that up and be creative because that will put like a little cue. It'll help people remember that video more if you have a memorable thumbnail. So I'm still working on that. Okay, now titles. Whew. Well, in the title, that's another thing that goes along with a thumbnail. If you're in your title is vlog day one or um, tiny living episode one or whatever, that's not memorable. People are not going to remember it. We already know it's a vlog, so you don't even need to put the word vlog in it. Find a title that people will remember so if they go back to your channel and they want to look for that video and watch it again, they're going to see it, they're going to know what the contents are, um, and they will be more than likely to watch it again if your titles are unique and different. Alright, oh, time-sensitive titles. Say like you are going to film something like, um, well, I have a friend, uh, <laughs> she's finding joy. Okay. Time sensitivity in titles. If you're going to film something that's coming out on a Sunday or something, make sure that it comes out on Sunday. Um, if you're filming like a church thing, like Sunday scripture, I have a friend who does, or used to do, I wish you would start doing them again, Sunday scripture, but then the video would come out three days later. If you're going to do something with a date or day in it, referring to a certain day of the week or, or whatever, Film that video in advance, then upload it so people will actually be watching it on the day that you're referencing. Okay, uh, let's see. What next? Alright, don't expect to make it big quick. It takes a long time to build a channel. I know that there's some channels out there that just totally take off the minute they put the first video out, but many of those channels work within networks. They have marketing people. They aren't organic, natural YouTubers. A lot of times these people have backing and um, are put out there 
by basically a crew of people. So you can't compete with that. Don't even try. Um, and also, don't stoop to things like if you're a female, you know, if you're pretty, that's great. But um, dressing in, you know, seductive clothing, clothing, um, but like dressing in seductive clothing, or I've seen some videos where the, the, the woman has her, you know, top section out and she's like posing with her backside out and trying to be sexy and stuff like that. Well, that sells. But I specifically never watch those videos. If there's a thumbnail, like um, there's a couple homesteading channels that, you know, the, the guy's there and then the female's in short shorts and she's posing like she's, you know, trying to stick her backside out. Um, I am immediately turned off by that. Now, there's a lot of people who are turned on by that, but I'm not. Um, so you have to kind of decide whether or not that's the way that you want to go and if that's the way that you want to rise to fame. Don't make videos hoping that you're going to make a lot of money because you won't. It takes a long time to get monetized. I think you, well, you have to have over a thousand subscribers and I think you have to have over 4,000 hours watch time, I think it is. That takes a long, long time. The reason why I was able to grow as quickly as I did is because, well, I got a shout out from a very, very big channel, um, Bobblehead, I know you all know him, so I got a big bump with that. And then I had one video that kind of went viral, I mean it's got 92, 94,000 views on it or something like that, and that is that silly video I made of my tiny house being delivered. So. That got put out there. I don't know how people found it because at the time I wasn't doing a lot of networking or, um, you know, posting my videos here and there. So a lot of people watched that and that's just testament to you never know what people are going to like. You never know what they're going to grab onto. But that video got me a couple thousand subscribers, so that was wonderful. And you never know what it's going to be. You just have to make videos about things that you love, that are, you know, that you have fun making. And then you have to get out there and network. You have to share your videos, you know, on Facebook, Twitter, or there's Parlor now. I haven't joined Parlor yet. Uh, so you've got to really... Oh! Miss Judy is dreaming over there. Um, you have to get out there and network and you have to... Well, one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to spam your channel on other people's channels. If somebody comes to my channel and they've never, you know, been on the channel before and says, Hi, um, I love your videos. I make videos too. Do you want to be friends? Or whatever. Uh, don't do that. That's bad form. Never go to another channel and request that they follow you or that they subscribe to you. It's bad form. I will immediately not follow you if you do that. So um, if you're going to go onto another channel, just converse, you know, converse with people, get to know people, and then they will want to get to know you too. Now this next thing, um, I'm sure you all probably already realize, but you have to have a thick skin. If you're going to put yourself out there and you're going to show your life and show the things that you do, just know that there are some very, very evil, awful people out there on the internet. You know, the world is filled with sociopaths, but before the internet and YouTube came around, those sociopaths only had access to the circle of people who were immediately around them. So they were not able to work their, their evil on such a large swath of people. Well, we've got the internet now and all of the sociopaths get onto the internet and they will attempt to deceive, manipulate, make you feel bad. They will neg you and negging means just saying kind of like negative things. Like, for instance, I had this one guy, um, he's no longer allowed on this channel. He came and I was, um, and this is why I don't like to show me doing a lot of work and stuff because of this one comment. Um, he made fun of the way that I was doing drywall, uh, not drywall, insulation. He says, I don't mean to insult you, but, yes, he meant to insult me. You just look like a, you know, you just look like a girl trying to do work. 
And, you know, that that bothered me, okay? So you have to understand that there are going to be people out there who will make fun of you. They will feel entitled to make fun of you. And they feel entitled to say mean, awful, nasty, rude things to you. But you have to get used to it. It's just the way that it is. And um, a lot of times these sociopath type people, they, they don't even get it themselves, their own behavior. They don't understand that what they're doing and what they're saying is inappropriate. So you have to kind of just nip that in the butt right away. Just uh, bud, bud, nip it, nip it in the bud, whatever. Um, you have to basically hide them from your channel um, immediately. Don't have a conversation. And I need to follow my own advice on this. But they will, and you know what they'll do too? They will leave and come back on a new account and, you know, just keep digging at you to try and get to you some way. Um, they will insult your physical appearance. They will insult things about you that you can't change. They will just keep saying things until something clicks and it sticks, you know, um, and then they'll just keep coming back. And sometimes they will come in teams. Um, it's usually the same person. Uh, they'll post a big, long wall of text telling you, you know, this, that, and the other, how awful you are. And then the, someone else will answer, you know, make a comment to their comment, backing up their their awful, mean-spirited words. And um, so you got to get rid of the whole crew. You just have to push them away. There's so many other great people out there on the internet. There is no reason why you should have to waste your time on ugly, despicable, mean-spirited people. I've had quite a few of them on this channel, and you guys haven't seen all the comments I'm talking about because I'm pretty... I, I read all my comments, and I try to catch them as quick as I can. Um, but they're just awful people, you know. They they are having a bad day, so they want somebody else to have a bad day, too. You know, the ones that I love are the ones that are like, oh, I'm unsubscribing. Um, I had somebody recently said, um, I don't want... Uh, I'm leaving because I don't want to s watch you retire on other people's money. Well, ta-ta, my dear. Um, you're gone. So, And I know, I, I bet you my next paycheck that this individual still comes back and watches my videos because that's what sociopaths are like. They just, they, they, they can't stay away from their, um, their prey. <laughs> you know, they, they see other people as their prey. So you have to take all of that in mind. You just have to kind of let it roll off your back and uh, forget about it. But most of all, you just have to have fun. Just have fun making your videos because it's a lot of work. And if it's not fun, you're not going to enjoy it. And people will see that you're not enjoying it. I love making these videos. It's kind of become like a job for me. Um, and you know what? I, I am monetized and that's working out okay. I don't make a lot of money. But for right now, it's paying my bills. So... I am very, very happy with how things are going in my life right now, and that's because I make videos about things that I love, and so that's what you should do, too. Anyhow, oh, gosh, I can't believe I got through all this. Did I, did I forget anything? I think that's it, guys. Anyhow, that's all I got for you. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.